Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. In this video, we're going to be using one of those modules that we installed called Path Auto. Now, Path Auto is going to allow us to set up rules to give us nice, clean URLs for every single piece of content we create. It's a really great handy plugin and one I'm always sure to install right before I get going on any sort of Drupal site. So let's get started right now. So now that we have our modules installed, we're ready to get started on our auto path aliases or our path auto aliases. Now, if you do not have path auto installed as your module, head back to the previous video where we install modules. Um, because in that video, we installed path auto token and C tools. So if you have path auto installed, we're ready to get started. What we can do is now come to configuration. Let's just click on this link. It's going to take us to a configuration page. Now, if we scroll down, you'll see URL aliases. If we click on URL aliases, you'll see the alias we've already created where about us is linking to node one. So while that's all good, what we really need to do is add some automatic aliasing. So how do we get to that? Well, we can come back to extend. We can look for path auto simply just by searching for path auto and we can see this downwards arrow here. Now when we click this, you can see there's a configure link. If we click configure, it's going to allow us to get to our configuration. Now if you wanted to add this to your shortcuts, you could come to here. If you are planning on visiting here more often, it might be a faster way to get here. And what you see here is we have a tab called patterns. Now these are just some patterns for our aliases. And we have no patterns yet. So let's get started by adding a pattern. Now a pattern allows us to essentially say, well, by a basically a specific type of content, so we'll select content, we are able to automatically set the URL. So let's say for all articles, we want to set the pattern to forward slash post forward slash now we need to browse the available tokens. We want the, in this particular example, we want the current page name. Now Drupal essentially refers to pages or articles or anything like that as nodes. So if we click node, you can see we have access to all sorts of things, including the node title. If you click node title, it automatically inserts this pattern into our URL path. Now, there's a whole lot of tokens you can use here, and they're all going to give you different values, but we want our URL to be the title of the node plus the post, and we can just save this label as posts. So our articles, every single article we create now is automatically going to get the path of forward slash post, then the node's title. Let's click save. So now that we have this in place, let's go and click and create a new post. We can do content and let's add content and it's going to be an article. Now in this article, we can say our second article and we don't have to do anything in the URL path settings. In fact, you'll notice it's jet clicked to generate automatic URL alias. So we don't want to worry about that. And we can just say, hello. Okay, so no big deal there. No tags, no image, nothing. Let's just click save and publish. Now here's something interesting. We've published our post. This post exists as our second article, but you'll notice the top, the URL path is not node slash three. However, it's post our second article. It does everything for us. It even does the hyphenating in the title. This couldn't be any more perfect. I mean, now we can reliably know that our post titles are always going to be the post and the title. If you had your post as like a category or a tag, you could maybe potentially have the, the category in there or something. There's all sorts of different strategies, but just sort of keeping your posts and your pages having their own sort of separate pattern is a great idea. Now, in addition, let's come home. Let's look at my first edited post. If we come here, you can still see it still says node forward slash two. We don't really want this. So let's say we wanted to update this nodes URL. We can click edit we can come to URL path settings and let's just simply check this generate automatic URL alias box. Upon checking that, saving and publishing it, our post URL is now updated to post my edited post. 
So we've now successfully set that up. However, if we were to create a new basic page, let's do content, add content, basic page. We could say new page. Now this page is still gonna get this node, node forward slash four. So we need to set up another pattern. If we come back to our patterns, we can click add path auto option, and we can click content once again. The pattern is simply just this time, let's do browse available tokens. I personally don't have these memorized and I always have to come in here and click one. So don't worry about that. We can click title and now once again, let's just click basic page. So we can say for all pages, once you're created, just give the path the title. That way we have things like the about us page would have an automatic path of forward slash about hyphen us. So we now have our two aliases set up pages and posts. And you'll want to do this for each new content type or things like that that you create so that your URLs are always looking nice and you don't have something like node forward slash four. Let's go really quickly just update this URL alias just so you can see this one in action. We're going to click generate path settings and we're going to click save and keep published. Now we can see the new URL is new forward slash page. So great, this is how you can set up automatic path aliases in Drupal using path auto module. This is something that's been around for a long time in Drupal and something you're definitely gonna wanna set up early on in your site's development. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. If you wanna purchase this entire series or access to streaming the entire series before it's released on YouTube, head to store.leveluptutorials.com and purchase a pro membership or download the series itself for a one-time cost. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.